Good morning, my children, and once again, welcome back to your English class, the class of the teacher Jacob. For today, my children, we're going to continue with the review of letters of the alphabet. Now, remember, yesterday, we finished with the letter D in its small form. Also, very important, all of the letters, remember, have two forms. Capital letters, which are the big ones, small letters, which are, of course, like the name says, small minúsculas. Recuerden, chicos, que todas las letras que estamos viendo del abecedario tienen dos formas, mayúsculas, que son las grandes, minúsculas, que son las pequeñas. Ustedes recordarán que el día de ayer nosotros finalizamos con la letra D, ¿ok? En su forma minúscula. Now, por capital D and small D, we have several objects. Capital D, we had the dog and the dragon. For the small D, we have the duck and the doll. Now remember, we have to be very careful with the pronunciation of these objects because some of them sound similar. In the case of dog, when I make this dog, remember, it's the animal. Woo, woo. When I say duck, Duck. Remember, it's the animal of the farm. Quack, 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 quack. And when I say doll, with L at the end, doll. In Spanish, muñeca. Okay? Very good. Now, today, my children, like I mentioned at the beginning, we're going to make a review of the letters that we have seen so far, and they are four. Para el día de hoy, vamos a hacer una actividad en donde repasaremos las letras que hemos estado trabajando hasta este momento. Recuerden que ahorita únicamente hemos visto cuatro letras. The letter A, the letter B, the letter C, and the letter D. Now remember, all of these letters, all of, all of these four letters have their own shapes and objects. Recuerden que tienen sus propios objetos. Estos objetos los vamos a relacionar con estas letras y de esa forma haremos nuestro repaso para el día de hoy. So, if you want to work along with the teacher Jacob, you know the instructions, you have five seconds to pick up your book and your pencil case in this page. This is the page for today on the top on the top part of the activity we have the letters of the alphabet in capital and small form and then we have the objects, the vocabulary. So you have five seconds, tienen cinco segundos para ir por su estuchera, por su libro de actividades con la hoja que del día de hoy para que podamos trabajar esta actividad juntos. One, two, three, four, five. Let's begin. Now, once again, remember the teacher Jacob will work on the whiteboard so you can appreciate the results better, but they are the same instructions. It's the same dynamic. So, once again, on the top part of the activity, we have the, the letters of the alphabet, letter A, B, C, and D in capital form. On there, we have the same letters in its small form. What we have to do is to join the letter with the object. Recuerden, chicos, que para las letras del abecedario en mayúsculas y minúsculas, nosotros tenemos sus propios objetos. Así es que lo que vamos a hacer va a ser unir la letra del abecedario con su, con su objeto correspondiente. For this, if you want to join the letter and the object with pencil, you can do it. If you want to use different colors, once again, there is no problem, it's optional. Para esta actividad, ustedes quieren unir la letra con el objeto. Si lo quieren unir con lápiz, lo pueden hacer. Si quieren unir la letra del abecedario con el vocabulario eh, utilizando colores, lo pueden utilizar, no hay ningún problema. Let's begin. First of all, with capital A. For capital A, 
we had objects like ambulance, like airplane, and an, an apple. So, here we don't have airplane, we don't have ambulance, but we have and, and we have apple. Ahora recuerden que porque la palabra no empiece en mayúscula, eso no significa que no podamos unir la letra. Nosotros podemos unir la letra siempre y cuando empiece con la letra correspondiente. En este caso estamos buscando un objeto que empiece con la letter A. Ya encontramos dos. We have ant and we have apple. Vamos a unir. I'm going to use color blue. Vamos a unir, first of all, capital A. Vamos a unir capital A for and. Vamos a unirla con and. Ok. Very good. Now, let's join small a with apple. And we have finished with objects that use letter A. Okay? Very good. Now, let's continue with the letter B. Capital B, small b. Once again, for this letter, we have several objects. Okay? Now, let me check in the book to see if we can join them correctly. Okay, yes. So, for capital B, we had two objects. We have the balloon and the bag. Remember, the balloon, it's an object that is part of the family of toys. It's a circle or an oval that is full of air. In Spanish, globe. So, we can join capital B with the balloon. Then, for small b, we can join it with the bag. Now remember, bag is an object that we use to introduce or to carry our things, including personal objects or toys. In Spanish, bag, bolsa. Recuerden que una bolsa es un objeto que nosotros utilizamos para pues, llevar nuestros útiles, nuestros objetos personales, como es una cartera, las llaves, el celular, o simplemente a lo mejor para guardar eh, nuestros juguetes o nuestra ropa. So, bag uses letter B. Como ya ocupamos capital B, podemos utilizar small b. And we can finish with the letter B. Let's continue with the capital and small C, the letter of Camila, the letter of Carlos. Remember, letters of the alphabet are not just for objects, we can use them also for names of people. Recuerden que las letras del abecedario no son únicamente para objetos, también las podemos utilizar para nombres de personas. So, Capital C and small c, we have several objects. If you remember, we had the cat and the coin. Let's join capital C for cat. And remember, cat belongs to the family of pets. Pets include turtles, birds, dogs, rabbits. Recuerden, chicos, que el gato pertenece a la familia de las mascotas. Mascotas son todos esos animales que viven en nuestras casas, como las tortugas, la, los pájaros, los perros, a lo mejor un conejo y, por supuesto, los gatos. So, capital C, for cat. Let's continue with another object that uses the letter C. We have the coin. Remember, the coin belongs to the family of money. Money in Spanish, dinero. 
Remember the money is divided in two parts, coins and bills. Recuerden que el dinero se divide en dos partes, en monedas y en billetes. El significado del dinero, recuerden que es un medio que nosotros ocupamos para poder sobrevivir. Ya que ya esto quiere decir que ocupamos dinero para poder comer, para poder vestir, para poder utilizar zapatos y para comprar cosas que nosotros necesitemos o que queramos. So, the coin, it's an object that uses letter C. So, small c, or coin. And let's continue with the letter D. Then the previous letter that we studied. For capital D, once again, we have objects like the dog and the dragon. For small d, we have the duck, quack, quack, and the doll. So for today, we only have the dog and the dragon. Let's join capital D, vamos a unir capital D, con, with the dog. Okay, so capital D, with dog. And finally, small d with dragon. We can use uh, small d for dragon. Remember, it doesn't matter whether it's capital or small. What it matters the most is that we use the correct letter. So, small d for dragon. And that's it. We have finished the activity of today. Okay, it was very easy. And I am very happy because that's the important part of studying an additional five minutes because you remember vocabulary and letters. Por eso, chicos, es muy importante que ustedes siempre en casita repasen unos cinco minutos adicionales la clase en inglés le pasen unos cinco minutos las letras del abecedario, los números que hemos estado también trabajando, el vocabulario, porque al hacer estos ejercicios nos va a servir todo ese repaso, ya que se nos va a facilitar el saber que dragon lleva la letter D, el saber que ant lleva la letter A, el saber que coin, ok, belongs to the family of money, que el, el la coin, pertenece a la familia de dinero, que es una moneda, todas esas cosas características que vemos acerca del vocabulario nos van a servir para estos ejercicios y de esa forma ustedes al seguir repasando en casita no se les va a olvidar. So, that's it for today my children. I forgot to mention one thing. Once we have finished joining all the letters of the alphabet with the objects, painted with different colors. Okay, once again, this is an idea of how to paint them. If you want to use your own colors, there is no problem. Después de que hayamos terminado de unir, de unir letras del abecedario con los objetos, eh, eh, para terminar la actividad, coloren con diferentes colores cada uno de ellos. Aquí tienen la idea de cómo hacerlo. Ok, ustedes en casita lo pueden hacer así o pueden utilizar los colores que más sean de su agrado. Recuerden que lo que importa es que recuerden el nombre del objeto, no tanto el color que ocupen, pero pues coloreen la actividad para que sigan teniendo fuerza en su mano. So, we see you tomorrow with more information, more activities and more fun with the teacher. Jacob, have an excellent day. Take care. Goodbye.